Dang it. Okay, which one of you clowns put my wife's name in the Prime subscription redemption, huh? Nightbot's promoting my wife on my stream now? What's up, MSFers? <laughs> I just saw that. Subscribe with Prime. Support Run7 with a free Twitch subs Prime sub. You can link your Twitch account with Amazon for a free subscription to your favorite streamer. Way too raw for you. <laughs> oh, mods, you gotta love them. You gotta love them. <laughs> We've got a great Friday set up for you, hoping to keep your uh, your lunch break and afternoon rolling right on into the uh, one of my favorite days in Marvel Strike Force Land, where we get a blog drop and you get to go hang out at a bunch of different content creators streams, all kinds of fun stuff. And of course, it's just Friday and everybody loves Friday and all its glory. So we're going to be recording two defense up videos today. Uh, I have uh, Axon, whose name I can't say yet because I gotta wait a few seconds for the video to record before I break terms of service on YouTube. And then we have Donna Doe. Both are really interesting accounts for a myriad of reasons, so those are gonna be fun to go over. Plus the usual shenanigans that we have here on the Run7 stream as we do a bunch of stuff. Uh, Rolf Karen just raiding with a party of 39. Oh my gosh, Rolf Karen, you're freaking amazing. Thank you for that. And 117 Blue raided also. Holy cow, everybody coming in hot and heavy at the top of the hour. Thank you so much, Blue and Rolf Karen. Appreciate it. Uh, I hope your guys' streams were amazing. My streams have been uh, quite fantastic lately. Had some some really good ones. I don't know if you caught yesterday's stream, me wearing that stupid shirt and battling a dragon in the studio. It was a dragon, I swear to God, it was. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, that video will post soon. I'll probably be editing it tonight. Okay. So now bringing it down here a bit. Holy cow, we got a ton of people. What's up, Doolin? What's up, Blake? What's up, Hedgehog? What's up, Xander? What's up, Working as Intended? What's up, Burnsy? What's up, Jerry? What's up, Saney? See, you got MVP there, Saney. Nice job. Did I say what's up, Rolf Karen? Well, there we go. What's up, Master Gilgamesh? What's up, Killshot? What's up, Stocky? What's up, Ruvar? What's up, Papa Woody? What's up, Blue? What's up, Gnomes? What's up, TCU? What's up, I'm Nacho Hero? What's up, Nemesis? Also commonly referred to as Rello. <laughs> no one's ever gonna let you live that down. <laughs> <laughs> Nemesis trying so hard to shake the Rello tag. <laughs> it's fantastic. A whole line of emotes and merchandise that says not Rello. <laughs> we were supposed to leave that back in 2023, he says. Oh my goodness. Not any fucking planet. Oh my goodness. Um, you know what? I think I could turn chat on. Let's get chat back on in 2024, shall we? Because there's lots of funny stuff happening here. Rello is now known as the Tyrant Mod, huh? I can see that. <laughs> Free water and salt at his home. How am I enjoying war? Uh, Watchers of Watcher of Realms is freaking amazing. I'm having a lot of fun playing that game. It is my new poop and shooter. Uh, you know, you sit on the toilet and you knock out a couple of campaigns. In my case, a lot of campaigns. I'm a slow sitter. Turn chat on. That sounds hot. 
<laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, turn me on. <laughs> Can we all celebrate Windstorm and his amazing YOLO play style? Absolutely. Windstorm, one of our most fantastic uh, theory crafters in Marvel Strike Force. <clears throat> Watcher of Realms is decently fun. Strategist not ready to yield too much to that game, but willing to accept it is a positive margin there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, loving Watcher of Realms. Uh, when 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 we run out of content on Marvel Strike Force, I'll probably switch over to that to round out the last of two hours. Uh, that doesn't happen very often, though. And of course, I will be getting back to my uh, Monday streams of Starfield and other content. Uh, really enjoying Starfield. Trying to get that my first plus one in Starfield, and it's I'm just not getting a lot of time to play the game. Is what's happening? Okay. Let's get through and knock some of these dailies out. And then we need to jump into uh, defense up recording. I'll open up voice and let anybody uh, who who wants to help come and help. <clears throat> I'm pumped again today, man. I've been getting really pumped lately. I shouldn't be as pumped as I am right now because I stayed up pretty darn late laughing my ass off with my two boys mom was out with friends last night and so i just had the boys come and sleep in my bed with me and we watched percy jackson on disney plus and we were supposed to then go immediately to sleep and it was one of those times when your kids are not behaving and you're trying to get them to settle down do what they're told and all that stuff but the shit that they're doing is making you laugh, and so they will not take you serious, and they're not stopping, and you continue laughing, and it just goes on and on and on. My wife finally came home at like 11 p.m. last night. All the lights in the house are off, but it was very much not quiet in my home. And I, I told my wife, I'm like, this is the biggest failed attempt at bedtime I've ever had in my life. But we were all giggling and having a great time. It was a really nice time to just, you know, put the phone down, forget about, you know, gaming and all the electronics and stuff and just giggle with the kids. So that was really nice, but I am pretty tired today. Get yourself sponsored by War so I have a better excuse to start it. I'm looking into that, Saini. They actually have a tab where all in game that content creators can click on and request an application for their content creator program, which I will be doing this weekend. I, I'm enjoying playing the game. I might as well try and get into that content creator program. What's up, a fame? I haven't seen you in a minute. Did Raw come home to six empty cereal boxes and a kit and kitchen equipment helmets? Not quite, <laughs> but thanks for the idea. I know we'll be trying this weekend. Nights like that are what being a dad is all about. 100. percent When I don't want to be when I don't want to be tech heavy, I just buy myself a gumpla. A gunpla. I'll have to look into. That's probably a character in the game, huh? I'll I'll click on that, gnomes. I will. Thank you for the DM. I appreciate that. If you have a good uh, alliance to get into, let me know. I need to get into a good alliance in Watcher. Athame, I'm doing great, man. I don't know what it is, but I have just been enjoying life lately. Uh, everything seems to be going really well. Uh, one of those times when things are scary as shit, but I'm 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 really enjoying things. Marvel Strike Force is a lot of fun to play right now, and I've got a plethora of other games that I'm also enjoying. My IRL job is moving along just nicely. I, I freaking love working at the hardware store. Easiest job there ever is, and they seem to really appreciate me there too. So I'm I'm loving that. What's up, Juicy? Oh, the Gundam model kit. Oh, yeah. Are you into like, is, is, uh, are you into miniatures, Strategist Shiro? I'm finding that there are so many in the MSF community who are into miniatures. Like I was talking with uh, Monguli and he's big on miniatures. And of course, man of miniatures also, if you couldn't guess by the name. And then, and then like, so I was telling them about each other and all of a sudden other people are like, yeah, I do miniatures too and we're into this and that. And it's kind of cool. I remember Battletech minis. I, my best friend's little brother was into the Battletech minis. Um, 
would purchase all the Gundams and, and hang them on his wall in the box, never take them out kind of thing. There's a tab I don't want to click on. All right, let's check these raids out real fast. Knock down some energy. Ugh, cat was sleeping on my jacket and got me all sneezy. Skill or tech, looking to see if there's any mutant nodes around here that I can snatch up. I'm not supposed to go to the left side. All right. <clears throat> go back to that tab. What, the blitz tab? Why, why do you want to go back to the Blitz tab of all things? This one? The Razzle Dazzle? I, I completed the milestones on it and I'll never touch it, man. If I don't have to Blitz, I will not. Okay, let's get in on this one and see what we can do. We're gonna, because we're short on time today, we're gonna roll the dice on node number one. Here we go. Sweet suffering succotash, we got it. <laughs> Rolf Karen, you're the one here who thinks that Blitz is better than sex. <laughs> you're not gonna find many of us in agreement. Now, the boss note is finished, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll the dice on this one as well. I would never sim this if the boss note isn't complete. Ouch! Oh, no! Oh, we gotta go back in and see what we can do. I don't know, we're gonna pick some characters here that might get it done and might not, I don't know. Uh, let's take out Robbie and we're gonna throw in, oh man, I don't have Cersei ready to go on this. So let's take out Icarus. We'll put in, we'll put in Robbie. And then we'll go with Deathpool, I think. Let's see what happens here. I should have put Doom in the middle. Oh well. Oh, that's what I get for disrespecting Blitz, is that raids will shoot me down. The coming weeks off project. Let's take a look at this one here. Oh, that's a big kit right there. Nice. Very nice, strategist. Very nice. Uh, we're going to put an ability block on... Yeah, we'll put a, an ability block on Archangel and see if we can't start getting some of these people taken care of. Let's do get Peggy stunned because I don't know where she's at on cooldowns. And then we're going to spread the ability block off of Archangel to everybody else on this node. Should be nice. There we go. And we'll give a stun over here to Katie. <laughs> what's up t that's i don't know what's going on with that emote <laughs> buddy i don't know what's going on with that emote but i kind of dig it oh uh, let's go i don't know we'll just go here i guess most of these people are gonna are gonna have issues as soon as somebody takes a turn <clears throat> oh i thought ghost rider would bleed out from that okay never mind don't kill Doom for crying, oh man. Oh, maybe maybe it's time to build Doom up. A lot of those Red Hulks have been smacking him awful close to death. And I'm worried he's, uh, he's not gonna make it. Okay, let's get some bleeds on people. Zoink. You've never hula hooped with your butt before? No, I'm, I'm not much of a hula hooper. Not much of a hula hooper. Spanking some booty. Hey, Rillo, how's it going? TDATs must be sub to some booby streamers. Possibly. You never know. Let's see if we can't get a kill off of this. Man, I gotta get rid of that Archangel. He's gonna drive me nuts. That was a good chain. Oof. God, I'm getting killed here. Oh, come on, guys. Let me take a turn or two. How come they're not bleeding out? It's like I can't seem to damage these guys. 
Oh, this is fantastic. Then they don't even take a turn and get those bleeds. Ah! Oh. She's a lifestyle streamer. <laughs> All the DJs hung out for a while watch, watching booty hooping. <laughs> okay, something in here has got to freaking work. Okay, we'll just throw in Icarus and MLF. See if I can't get some people to do. You know what? I bet a straight up like a dark hold mix would probably work better than this. I don't want Hella. That would be a bad idea. I think that's, uh, that's as good as it's gonna get right there. Let's try this, see if I can't. I mean, I just gotta nudge these guys off the cliff, man. The next day I got a gifted sub, so I've been spamming kitty pats all week. I kind of like the kitty pet, it's pretty cool. Uh, steal, let's do this one. And we'll try this. It's not gonna get a double tap because Cersei's not here, but, oh, it does do a double tap, it just doesn't do the good stuff. <clears throat> Rolf Kieran gifted a tier one sub to Amaranth. <laughs> <laughs> Amaranth has just subscribed <laughs> to Front 7. Thank you for that, Rolf Kieran. Appreciate it very much. I'm sure she'll she'll show up any minute to check out that sub that you gifted her. Thank you for that. Uh, let this please be text so I can do some sims. Here we go. Crap, it didn't it didn't accept the sim button, did it? Oh yeah, it did. Okay, that's why we're taking so long. Alright. There we go. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's not here, T Dads. She just subs to my channel now because Rolf Kieran put her on a roll. She's very interested in defense up today. Yes, I'm sure that's what's going on. Okay. Skill tech. Let's throw this on a um, on a Pegasus team here. What's up, Updog? Did you see I stuck I stuck a few clips from your little from your little two-minute video there at the end of the recap? I thought watching you open those orbs was quite humorous. Thanks for the follow, Osprey. Ors Orspy? Orserpy. How do I pronounce that? What the hell does that mean? I'm the worst with names. If you if you're new here. And you put your name in chat and it's the first time I've ever seen it. I will screw it up. I literally messed up Steve's name. St traditional spelling and I messed it up. It happens, man. Biotech. Where's my mutants? It's just letters. I use my kid's initials. Okay. Well, well don't be mad if I call you Osprey or Orsby or something like that. Messed up a theme too? Did I mess up a theme? Probably. I don't, I don't deny it. Okay, raids are done. Trying to get rid of these dailies. I know everybody's excited to go over these rosters here today. I know Doolum's probably already sitting in the voice channel. Uh, let's do an arena attack. Uh-oh, we got the Draxes coming in. Uh, let's see, let's do this one, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop Black Cat for, okay, yeah, like that. And then I'm going to put in Robbie, but not Black Cat. Does Robbie do me to get... Eh, screw it. Who cares? Let's just go and see what happens. <clears throat> Majestic as hell, birds. Why, why Tulum keeps showing his nipples on stream? Let's try to get those subs, man. Oof. That sucked. 
Going after Nightcrawler hard there. Uh, let's do this one. And then we'll break that taunt with Nightcrawler. Man, their super scroll went way before my super scroll did, right? Wait, do I have... I have two... Oh, I don't have two villains. I only have... I have three heroes and one villain. Oopsie. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll see what we can do here. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. This went south fast. This was the wrong... This was the wrong makeup for a team. Non-optimal team. Not even sub-optimal, Stocky. It's non-optimal. Yeah, we're done. We're done here. I don't even want to see where this goes. So, uh, Annex, a.k.a. Poopy Butthole, a.k.a. Poopy Darth Hole, uh, they are looking for an alliance. We're going to be going over their defense. They're looking for an alliance currently. They're having trouble because they're only 39 million TCP. But uh, the person's got a fully maxed Super Scroll, fully maxed Apocalypse, doing really well, getting all the things done, operating in Diamond 1. But uh, <clears throat> would like a little bit more competitive... Uh... Let's see, what are they looking for? Loves Alliance War. Does 13 to 14 attacks every time, three boosts, 90 million damage, always MVP. Uh, looking to move up there, so great stats. So they don't have the 15 million plus in roster fluff that we have exactly. Yeah, they don't have a uh, X-Force dragging them down along with a with a Guardians team in purple gear. Okay, what else? I think I can just knock down. Let's go to the let's go to the roster here real fast and knock down some energy. Uh You see I uh, I went ahead and I bought the cheapest offer for Sunspot to unlock them. Re Fantastic. I was you guys know I was really worried about the difficulty of Incursion 2. And using Sunspot, not Forge, but Apocalypse, and then the other four, I'm able to move through the Incursion to Rise of the Resistance. I'm, I'm able to move through it decently enough. And I think once I get like five by five stars on these characters, shouldn't be an issue. I'll be looking forward to progressing through higher and higher difficulties and feeling the challenge and having to work to, I like it, is what I'm trying to say. I like where the difficulty's set, and I think this team works well. Uh, credit where credit is due, I think Scopely may have actually nailed this one, at least my personal feelings on it. I don't know, What for those of you who have unlocked Sunspot and or others, what do you guys think? Are you enjoying where the raids are, are at? <laughs> T.I.L. Rorix is a fluffer. <laughs> Who's Sunspot? Says Nobs. I think I'm just gonna start calling him Spot. Just call him Spot. I think that'll be cool. By the way, Spot 100% needs to be a striker. He, it's it's his counter iso attack which is not listed anywhere but the blog post it basically says make me a striker so just make him a striker there's really oh my god more every time you get rid of the energy and then you go to click on the days and there it is again more energy uh i really need to start saving for I'm not, I'm not gonna be buying anything I don't really, really need. I'm gonna be getting very picky with stuff. In fact, I think I'm gonna drop down here and get my last two purchases off the bottom row. Um, really wanna start saving for that level cap 100. If you don't already have 100 million in savings, and even if you do, 
you should you should be saving you need to be saving right now if you're an endgame player at level 95 you need to be saving gold right now in preparation for the level cap 100 increase my prediction is it's going to be at least five five million uh a level to to raise those five million a level is that right five million to go from 95 to 100 a million a level that's my prediction could could be as low as half a million could be as high as half, uh, one million i think it's going to be one million per level that's my prediction one one million a level you think so too stocky one million a level Trevor Panaki, my wife, has well over 100 million gold. Many, many people have well over 100 million gold. I know that seems weird. The reason I, like, I try to keep 20 million in the bank at all times, I just unlocked Sunspot, and so I brought him up and spent my 20 million. I will now be going to try and reach 100 million by the 22nd of the month. I don't even know if that's possible, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Ooh, look at all these goodies, even some Oz. Oh, they call it augmented f experimental formula? Is I thought this, didn't this used to be called Oz formula? Unless you wail out on campaign spending, it will take a while to reach level 100. I don't know if I'm gonna so much as wail out on campaign spending, but once that comes into play, I will be refreshing the 50s every day on campaign spending. Yes, they changed the main to make it more broadly uh, applicable. Okay. I remember they changed Oz formula. I just wasn't sure if this is what, what it was. You know me, I can't remember anything. The average person who need to get to 1 million, 100 million to do these raids absolutely does not have 100 million. A small percentage might. Trevor Panaki, believe me, there's lots of people who are doing at all levels of this game that are able to save gold it's just a matter of min maxing your roster in the way that you want to play uh, my wife is doing the same raids i'm doing much smaller roster has well over a hundred million gold <clears throat> you know it's just th those people who have that kind of gold have chosen to never they don't even know where the fucking sim button is they don't even know where it's located, right? They don't auto anything. They play every maneuver, pick and choose every single battle because they have such a narrow roster to work with. I am going to be doing my best to not spend any Elite Sevens and instead change those into the Silver Diamond credits. However, I don't need the Diamond promotion tokens right now, so I'm not converting them. I'm wondering, could there be an event where you get points for every sil silver diamond credit that you collect, right? Like that could be a thing. And so this is a thing that I don't need right now. And so I hoard it. I'm switching to spending only one to 1.5 million a day. Yeah, Dacer Celius, I am going to be doing like a, a trying to keep it at 1 million a day myself. Basically, I'm going to not do anything. I, I'm really going to try hard to not build anything until the 22nd, unless a character like Forge unlocks, and then I'll be doing something like 1 million a day. Okay, so there's those, those. What's up, Pathfinder? I have a good amount. I budget well. I don't sim. I run raids daily. I do 400 mil in incursion two. I have all my teams and people not over bill. I have about 50 mil. I don't believe many have 1 million. I don't know what to tell you. I've seen a lot of Ross. I mean, I don't know what the ratio is of like the percentage of the player base that has 100 million gold. And we did recently have a gold spending event, though I don't think that affected some people's bottoms line as much as others think so. But I just know that there are quite a few people out there that have 100 million and are at, at every level of the game. They've been too nice to us lately. They probably would do something like that diamond collecting event. They probably would.
Yes, once you unlock us, it is much easier to save gold. Yeah, when you're building for your super scroll, it's it's tough. I mean, the problem with hoarding that much gold is stagnation. Well, I'm only gonna be building my raid teams until the 22nd. You don't need 100 million gold because you will only be able to level tunes once you reach that commander level. Well, that's true. I mean, I wanna save, I wanna try and hit 100 million gold on the 22nd, and then it's gonna take me, what, a month, maybe two months to get to commander level 100? So there's another period of time that I can save even more, hopefully get to 200 million gold. I think that's pretty optimistic, though. I don't think that's, hey, you guys know me. I'll be lucky if I get to 30 million gold by the time I'm level 100. So you can go up three weeks to go up a level. So three, six, nine, 12 weeks. Okay, so three months. Three months to get to commander level 100. Pathfinder has 330 million gold, see? Portland Robocop has 116 million. Juicy with 55 million. Dacier Celius with 30 million, spent 17 million shooting Sunspot to 95 though. Spend one point, I think you mean 1.75 million a day? Oh, for the, the last milestone with cores in it, okay, in the golden opportunity, okay. So so check the milestones in golden opportunity, get that 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 milestone that has the last of the cores in it and then bow out is what you're saying, Sandy. Okay, that's good. Pluck fur with 135. Gnomes has 100 million unless you lag behind. Oh, as a free-to-play player, it's harder to have 100 million unless you lag behind. We aren't spending money in the game and don't have access to these mega gold orbs, which prevents us getting a potential 100 million drop. Oh yeah, Pathfinder Gaming has uh, 330 million because he got he hit the big jackpot on the mega orb. I mean, congratulations to him. I think that's fantastic. That that gold isn't gonna go to waste on his roster. It's so odd that we were getting two new raid teams right before a level cap increase. Not on purpose at all, no, not on purpose at all. Just level as your commander level goes up. How many characters are planning to... How many characters are am I planning to keep at max level? I mean... Wow, you guys are going so fast. I'm just gonna skip down to the bottom of chat. I'm like a million miles behind. I think that I'm... I don't know who, who I'm going to build when I get to level 100. I really don't. I think it'll probably be a lot of Crucible teams, actually, is probably where I'm going to put, where I'm probably going to boost things. That's where I'm having the most fun. That's probably where I'll build it. But if we get a good war offensive team, I might take that team up a little bit. It, I really want to see what teams are going to have the longest overall value and that I'm using the most and that I'm having the most fun with, right? Value, resourcefulness, and fun is, is where I'm gonna be putting those. And it may be five tunes I build up over the course of the next six months. Or I could go ham and do like, you know, 50 different tunes and waste all my gold. I don't know, but I'm at a point where I don't feel like I have to build quite so much on my roster. And so I'm gonna be saving a bunch. Okay. Uh, let's get to defense up recording, shall we? Oops, got milestone dots I gotta click on. Oh, those are the boring ones. I'm not clicking on that. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what am I doing? Here we go. Uh, Poopy Darth Hole, are you in chat right now? I know Donado is not. If Poopy Darth Hole is in chat right now, we'll go ahead and do your roster first. But if it's Donado, if neither's in, in chat right now, then uh, I'll do Donado's first, and, and then maybe Poopy Darth Hole will show up. We've been here before. It's not new what they're doing with the level cap and the new raid teams, but they're doubling down because sales are down. It'll be more obvious as time goes on. I mean, they're always going to pivot the game in a direction that benefits them for short-term financial gains. However... They are at least looking at the long-term 
uh, viability of the game and doing overall what the players really suggest. We're getting that uh, theory crafting, plug and play characters. We're getting teams that can be used outside of their game modes more. We're getting back to those things that we really appreciate. However, when it comes to sales and how they squeeze us for things, they're getting very good at squeezing us where it hurts. We just had that huge gold spending event. Now there's multiple raid teams coming out right in front of the level cap increase, and they are going to be selling gold offers for a mint. PVP is what you take to 100 first. I kind of agree with Juicy. I think that's where the, the most competitive stuff is because if your raid team is getting it done, stop building them, right? If your, if your PVE content is completable where it's at, don't build them any bigger unless you want to crack an out and hit that sim button. But I'm having a lot of fun actually just playing the game manually and moving away from the simming and stuff. Okay, uh, I'm going to jump in the voice channel and uh, then we're going to get on to this. Oh, look at that. We got we got Doolum and Updog already in the voice channel. And if any of you other uh, content creators or community assistance members want to jump in as well, you can. How long do you think that's going to last run that you're going to love playing manual, though? Um, who knows? I mean, if as long as the difficulty in the raids is is challenging i'm going to try not to sim things like i'm not going to build things to sim it if the difficulty is challenging but but enjoyable like like i'm kind of finding it right now with this like four piece and apocalypse i haven't quite mastered one shotting the boss note and stuff i think i think it'll last for a long time uh, so what happens when they add in difficulties one through three or whatever, and the resistance goes up like crazy, and the and the, the health and all that? <clears throat> uh, then, then run. <laughs> well, then I mean, then if if things get really rough, I got to build the team bigger, right? But I, yeah. as long as I don't overbuild my raid teams and I don't really have the option to sim in raids, I'm kind of forcing myself to play manually. We saw what happened with my uh, Bifrost team. They're built right at that level where it's easy enough to play through manually. Uh, but when I sim, I run the risk of it falling on its face. And that's kind of where I want my raid teams to be at. So uh, Axon, AKA Poopy Darthole, if you want, buddy, head over to my server and find your way to the lobby voice channel and I will drag you in to the content creator channel if you wanna get on voice with us. Right now we have Athane, Benny, Westside, Doolum, and Updog all in here. Hello. What's going on, guys? Hello. I think people are probably a little bit more like startled about what to do with like a level cap increase than they should be. Like at the end of the day, I think the best approach is just to focus on certain characters across a number of teams rather than yeah like like if, if you're out. if your bifrost team is having trouble build vol don't build the whole team build vol yeah that's yeah. what i was referencing yeah exactly you know, i mean focus yeah on the carries first the it, gambits for pvp Right, Things I mean, like we've only done this, tw what, 25 times before? <laughs> so it's not like a level cap increase is like <laughs> gonna be unknown. It's like, it's not like we don't know what to do at this point. I mean, if you're newer to the game, sure, just listen to the people who've been through this before. It's okay, we'll weather the storm together. You know, it's not It's not gonna be that that tough to do. It's not that dramatic. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not that traumatic, exactly. Everybody freaks out when there's change because they go, oh my God, I can't afford shit now. What am I gonna do now with new you know what, levels? Do you shut up and stop overbuilding? You'll be fine. That's right. Or right. open your wallet and then also shut up. Okay, so uh Fix. so Annex so uh Annex, uh people wanna know <laughs> can you can you tell the people in chat what your name on Discord is? This should be good. Uh well now it's poopy dark hole. But before I was poopy butthole. <laughs> yeah, I was so excited to do your defense up with that name. And I was like, You're an infant. I can't, an I can't infant. even. Like, I'm glad I have Annex to use. Well, does anybody oh, know where it's from? Does anybody know where it's from? Uh, that or? should be from Rick and Morty's, right? Isn't that? 
Well, you know. Does anybody else know? Because it wouldn't make sense if you, you know what I mean, if people don't know. Because people ask me all the time. I'm like, dude, just Google it. They're like, no, I'm not going to Google it. I'm like, Google it. <laughs> yeah. Google it. If I didn't know and somebody told me to Google Poopy <laughs> Darthal, I would not do that. <laughs> no, 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 but no, before I changed it to Darthal, it was Poopy Butthole. Right. That, and if you if you Google that, I, I tried it. Only the cartoon <laughs> comes up. Nothing like dirty comes up. Right. Okay, so watch closely as we go through. Oh, hold on. This is the wrong. This isn't. This isn't your team. Hold on. We're gonna go through. I got the wrong one. Okay, get rid of those. That's Donado's. Okay, here's this one. Uh, you guys can take a look as we scroll through them. This is team number one. Team number two. Am I am I sharing? Yeah, I'm sharing. Okay, you guys can see my screen. Good. Where should I watch? Should I watch on Twitch or? Yeah, you want to you want to be watching the Discord view. That way, there's no delay. It's instantaneous. You can oh, okay. Up with the conversation makes it easy. Yeah, oh, when yeah, the turbo's perfect. running out of steam and his internet drops, you won't drop. Yeah, Ra was telling me that that the internet was dropping earlier today, and I'm like, oh shit! Of course, it happened on Friday when I'm trying to communicate with everybody and stuff. Okay. So team one looks like a pretty standard SD defense, uh, except I don't like uh, Doctor Strange in here. So we're probably going to talk about that right off the bat. And let's this go makes through it this. So that uh, this, this was superiors. actually. A team. Hold on, let me let me scroll through all six again real, real quick and get them resized. Uh, looks like we have the Sinister Six with Quicksilver. I don't know what Quicksilver is going to be doing to that team. Sus with some heavy hitters. Uh, these are kind of interesting. Oh, wow, these are really interesting. Okay. Uh, and then there's probably one of the only, like, more traditional builds that we're seeing. And then here's, oh, another Sinister Six team. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I like this. Okay, so uh, the SD defense and <clears throat> Gnome says Doctor Strange in there messed him up the other day. So what we've usually been seeing is a really fast character like Noir or Big Time, which I don't recommend Big Time. And um, of course, Super Scroll in here, but a lot of people moving Super Scroll out of this room as we figured out the counters for it. Uh, this is just a secret defenders in room one. Yeah, but if you if you if you take out um, if you take out Strange and you put in Noir, then Miss Marvel doesn't get the extra 10 percent uh, turn bar. Uh, uh, what's it called? Turn meter. Yeah, with, yeah. the full, with the full secret defenders lizard does not go before ms marvel so it's a rng based on who ms marvel rewinds i see it's a trick play oh because okay lizard won't have taunt, so. so this team this yeah. team has been getting has it been getting stopped all, all until uh it was probably like the past month or yeah it's about a month a month and a half it's been getting stops every single time like except for last week last week was the first time somebody beat it and it was a super easy counter i was like when i seen it i was like yeah. no and nobody probably knows okay and, and it's yeah, uh new warriors it, new it's warriors. an echo right we're, we're yeah, throwing an echo. Echo. not even echo just new warriors just yeah, new, no, warriors. Not new warriors no 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 not new warriors yes no, new, warriors, new warriors echo yeah so uh um this is one of those teams where once you get high enough it's not a good defense um yeah. But lower levels, people are going to throw S, uh, Sinister Six or MOE and instantly lose to it. You have to use New Warriors Echo. Now, can you use Masters of Evil Echo? Uh, not safely. Really? Okay. I think there's also RNG based on who gets rewound. Okay. Okay. So, uh, a trick play at the lower levels, but at the higher levels, Juicy, you say this doesn't hold anymore? Why is that? Because people know better and we'll put you just use new warriors that go on it. Oh, I see. So they, they just know that there is the efficient counter and they almost always use it and destroy. Okay. Uh, all right. So I, I would say uh, for mid and below. Because then they're just screwed if they don't. If they don't do mirror, the mirror. Yeah. No, then you just super scroll no. it. Oh, yeah, mirror. No. You don't. You only mirror superior six when you're fucking desperate. That's yeah. when you mirror Superior Six, and so, you pucker the whole time you're mirroring it. I mean, we're we're going off on quite the tangent, but just because I am curious, and I've been putting my Super Superior Six on defense lately, what team do you use with Super Scroll to go into the Superior Six? 
uh, Super Scroll with two heroes. Oh, it's just a, it's just a two just heroes, two villain kind two of thing. Villains. You don't no, need well, it. Like you, you put in APOC as well. Like APOC is good if there's a Craven there because then they won't spawn with um, safeguard. So, just pretty much APOC sus a hero and then two villains because APOC and sus do everything. Well, APOC's APOC really holding villain, fucking so holding pop villain, two heroes. You don't even need APOC right, by the yeah, way. Yeah, APOC is holding pom poms if you really need the if you want the emotional support, but you really don't need him. <laughs> okay. okay. So the, of, uh, you want the cleanest counter with with sus? It's, yeah, it's what? Tangle Web, Hella, Mister Negative, and then Tangle Web, and you have twenty nine in, in the corner and a Weaver in the corner, and they won't do anything to you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, but anyway, for this defense, this is actually looking pretty good for Axe, and he's uh, we're we're gonna just we're just gonna stick with this, I think, because the I mean the golden rule: if it ain't broken, don't fix it. And it's not it's not been failing except for maybe just recently with the one counter. And I think Axe, and as you continue to progress, then you'll look into some of the other options that we just discussed. Um, Moving this room into f moving this team into five, replacing it with a dorm hold or something like that. Okay, are we good with that? Are we, yeah. we satisfied? That's pretty good. Okay, I like that. Yeah. All right, now number two. Now keep in mind we have the superior six in six, uh, all five members, and then we've got the OG sinister six with Quicksilver in here and Goblin. Oh, never mind. I guess we got two. Uh, we got. Three Sinister Six and Taskmaster and Quicksilver. Now, Taskmaster is going to open with a blind. Uh, Quicksilver doing his special and then basic. Vulture coming out real early with the rewinds. Uh, Mysterio doing Mysterio things, of course. And then Green Goblin, which uh, I don't even remember what he does because I didn't really build the Underworld team. This is something I have never seen before, anything like this. What do you guys think? Um, Benny Westside, I haven't heard from you. What do you think about this team right here? Uh, it's, it's just characters to make use of the global rule. You think that's all it is? There's nothing special going on. Nothing. Oh, okay. And wouldn't wouldn't the Eternals I think, just smash this? Yeah, I, there's a lot of teams I could just walk in here. The I, only thing I would, here is Quicksilver. I would recommend keeping Vulture and Mysterio as plug-in options yep. on offense, mm -hmm. especially Couldn't because they more. can like sub in for Slayer depending on the comp you're going into. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think he, go has, an he has, he has, six has six other superior six on defense. And I'm gonna pop in here with oh. the, probably the hot take of the moment. I think if you're putting superior six on defense because of what Juicy said, Vulture replaces Spider Slayer because he prevents 2099 from being useful and can sabotage your attack. Yeah, because that's only on offense. 2099 so. comes in. Vulture only does that on offense, if I'm not mistaken, and stealing the speed that's up. Correct. Only on offense, and on if, offense? if you see a, yes. a broken superior six on defense, a full superior six easily cleans that up. Assuming your opponent doesn't speed have up to okay. all allies, which is the part that can make that go bad because getting the speed up on green goblin classic can fuck with your turn order that's more so where i was going with that um he still does the speed up in all game modes if any enemies have speed up uh axon what was your goal with room number two and and is it working for you what do you see happening with this room a thing you're assuming that somebody's gonna go into it with tangled web they can just go into it with a super, like a full superior six, with Spider Slayer, and they would be fine. And they would. They be, would roll but they it. Weren't using that on one. I would have put this in three. By the way, you'd put this in three. This is a way scarier yeah, injury than in turn. Yep. Uh, Vulture ulting turn one, and also Mysterio doing his thing. Okay. Because Super Scroll in three, I think, is a waste. Okay, uh, Axon's got his mic muted, so I don't know what Axon has to say about this team or how it is. This is, I, I just have no idea what's really going on here. Personally, I'm a big fan of Vulture for offense. I also use Quicksilver on offense. I have a big Taskmaster as well, and I like him, so I think it's cool that he's getting some play here, but the Underworld compositions are probably gonna find some value 
with Taskmaster being available for that rather than just this one-off team. But um, uh, the other thing, let's see, three strikers, two people putting out vulnerables, and then you guys say that throwing him into three would be a better version of this team because you're opening up those ultimates, right? And Taskmaster would be blinding quite often, I think. Oh, and then I guess you get some synergy with Taskmaster and Green Goblin, so that's okay. I don't know. It's Silver just goes off. Right it's away too. it's not terrible, and these characters are big enough. And with the Sinister Six and stuff like that, I think people might find this scary enough that they would overcompensate a bit. Is uh, this just essentially you had bigger tunes left over and you put them in room two because you just had big tunes who had high gear tier? Yeah, Annex, what's going on with this? Defend yourself. Death Seed or Eternals would just destroy this, so. That's all I'm going to say. And you should have Death Seed on offense as well. Don't put them on defense. Anymore. Yeah, Death Seed's no good on defense anymore. All right, well, I, I don't know why uh, Annex isn't talking right now, but um, I'm going to oh, say. He says he's speaking. Oh, I'm not hearing anything. Where are you? Are you in. I'm are you Poopy Dartho? Yeah, Poopy Dartho is Annex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything either. Um, you want to try to you want to try to leave the call and come back? Yeah, he can jump out and somebody will drag him back in. I'm gonna say let's let's. I think this would be much scarier in three with the alts opening up. I just don't know how that's gonna affect three. So let's go look at three right now. And this feels wasteful to me. This feels like oh. a kitchen sink team plus Agent Venom. And that's because Agent Venom is here probably because three diamonds and a hero. Oh, and a hero. And a hero for Sus. And okay. him, um, a three diamond agent Venom alt on turn one can hurt. But but they wouldn't be loaded down with the negative effects, right? He's so slow that the problem is that any team that's going to go into this agent Venom is never even going to move. Okay. I mean, I see Super Scroll in three. I know Super Scroll is going to ult. I take in a big enough Doom to either survive the Super Scroll or I bring in Doom, Dorm, and APOC. Super Scroll ults, my Doom gets pushed, my Doom takes APOC on the ride for three turns, and then the match is over. So it really yeah. doesn't matter. I think Super Scroll in room three is the biggest waste because he ults, pushes Doom, and then w you win. Okay. It's just- Oh man, you guys, you guys got me going crazy. You because you guys didn't oh, hear you me for- Oh, okay, for yeah. Yeah, let's let's hear about, let's go back to two. What What's your plan with go two? What's two going now, on yeah. with this? Okay, so just, just, to, just to preempt, uh, I do like putting teams where I try to get people to figure out what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. but there's nothing going on. But with with uh, with Taskmaster and uh, Green Goblin here, the, the, whole, the whole thing was that I, I uh, haven't been using Underworld at all on offense, like, ever. There's nowhere for, for me to take them. So I decided to try this. It's got three stops um, this last time that I tried it out. Because I was last time I, I didn't use Quicksilver any, either for anything, and the other two uh, Sinister Six is um, what happened was I had instead of oh well, actually and you somebody mentioned that I had Vulture in for uh, Spider Slayer, and just like you said, somebody came in with a full uh, Superior Six and just wiped them out. So that's why I kept full Superior Six there, and then I just just uh, put these together here and it up, and it did. Okay. All right. Uh, so mm -hmm. sounds like at, at least you're you're reacting to what's happening with your defenses by moving him around, and you have a plan here. And it's not a it's not terrible. I do like the idea of moving it into three uh, because of the ultimates popping off. It does make this whole team seem a lot more scary. And and as for what's going on in three here, I agree with the gang. This is pretty wasteful with I, I mean right now i kind of feel like sus should be on offense is that is that what's going on in the meta right now am i misinterpreting what's going well, on and and let me just mention the same situation here with with nova doesn't get used on offense i haven't had any counters that i needed him for say same thing with uh agent venom mm -hmm. and same thing with weapon x none of the none of them are getting used so right. the idea was for this room was that somebody's gonna pop off with an ult and with the three diamond Agent Venom, he's been just destroying it. If he gets to it, he destroys the team. Nova, if he gets to it, he gets the the field effect. Whatever that thing's called. Yeah, the field effect. 
And the uh, same thing for uh, and nobody has been able to figure the the best they come to is uh is to sack a team against this. And then they try to take out Super Scroll and like more than half the time they don't take out Super Scroll. Because if they do push Doom, Doom pops off and it's over. But uh, but whoever said Please that uh, about bringing <clears throat> in a big Doom in here, you know, that's a great idea. I I haven't thought it there well, nobody has nobody has tried that. Yeah. Yeah, so once what you get into higher leagues, that's going to be the thing you run into the most. I think the problem that I would like to and all that mention mind here that I, I'm is, only at 38 million uh TCP. And I understand that. I that's not where my argument is going. My point here is that this team is pretty much just focused on like an abundance of win conditions rather than supporting a particular this is what I want to happen. You have five different ways you're trying to win the same fight. And I don't yeah, because think most of the time if you necessarily Yeah, but you have to understand the if best you, when you have a plan game. of something that's going to happen, so what your opponent most likely will figure out what your plan is and then they they know exactly what you're trying to do and what's going to happen. So, so I mean like, you know, it's a But I mean, I, I mean, what what happens for me, what happens is I go, okay, let's throw in some people with a lot of positive effects on spawn to ensure that that super scroll is the first one to go and he alts. And yep. then with a Doom Dorm APOC, your time platforming. Assuming that I have the right build on my Doom, that he's exactly. not going to get deleted, then I mean, the Doom gets pushed, spawns, time platform, and you, you, you'd start tearing it apart. I and think it's assuming you have all those characters, enough. right? Sorry. I mean, you should have APOC and Doom on offense. I would assume you don't, but yeah, like, but if if this team right here draws in a Doom APOC, then that's a win for me. To, to kill Super Scroll? No, that is not a win. That yeah. is a that is a status a quo to kill loss. a Super Scroll. Yeah, that I, is that's a status quo in my opinion. And the fact that you only need Doom and APOC to kill a Super Scroll and your Doom and your Nova and your Omega Red, I feel like is not a is not a win. Look, what league are you in, by the way? Why do you guys out. you guys use the the other uh, besides Doom and Scroll? Do you guys use these on offense? I, I use guess Nova, Nova on offense counted, every right? yeah. single Crucible. I use Doom on offense use, every single Crucible. No, but yep. the only okay. ones I'm not you. Well, I use um, Omega Red on offense all the time Omega too. Red but he's too. usually superfluous in, in, to the to the attack. He's just somebody I throw in there as an insurance policy. I use um, Omega Red quite a bit. I use Nova a lot. Yeah. I use Doom every single week. The main I mean, thing yeah, so I, I was trying and, to and, point and out, and it doesn't really that. matter that that we use them on offense. You're not needing them on offense. Um, and yeah, so that allows you to do it. this. So, you know, in your situation, this is okay because if you're not needing these characters for offense to get your full clear and you're still getting like uh, six attacks and, and, and full clearing or seven attacks of full clearing, then I think that this is going to be okay. However, to make room two better, we wanted to move that to room three. And then moving this to room two, it's not going to work the way you wanted it no. to. No, so, I don't think I don't think this works in room two because so if Super Skull doesn't ult the right away, then it's this is a waste. Then right, right. The the point I was trying to get across without being interrupted is that room three is an exorbitant abundance of options. Okay, you can have two win conditions, and that make a lot of logical sense. Having five weakens what, especially at a lower TCP, your ability to spread those around to make other rooms a bigger problem and make them look at a character and go huh that can ruin my day okay they're only worried about super scroll here if they take in the right team you can have two characters here to make it hard well so give me an like example so what would be a lot of other options that you can put some of these characters to spread out your balance of power more no give me yes, give me an I example where would you put uh, one of these three characters what, what room did you would you put them in and which with which team honestly on defense nowhere you know, i they're they're meh on defense yeah they're not defense characters like well no, but I feel like you said, you said I, i'm better off spreading the, the power around and i would take from here and put it somewhere else but Yes, but then you say we're not really powered offense and take some offense characters you oh, have. For offense, I don't need. I have all the offense I need. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys his offense list. He sent that to me. I can I can bring I, that up here. I don't yeah. think any of these characters, aside from Super Scroll, 
if you put them on a different team, are gonna make me think, oh, Omega Red's gonna Correct. ruin my day. Oh, Agent Venom, dear Lord, that's gonna ruin my day. You're running, you're running Gamma on offense, you animal. I love it. <laughs> okay, so uh, Pegasus. Okay, we've got. Well, here this comp isn't gonna work because you've got Doom in it. Well, oh uh, no, I, sorry, Doom is the only one that's that's on this list that's on defense. Okay. I forgot about Doom. We got Everybody Undying, we've got Darkhold, we've got New Warriors, we've got Gamma, we've got Eternals, uh, Death Seed, Weapon X is no good without Omega Red, uh, War Dogs is probably useless at the level you want to operate at that size. Um, Young yeah, Avengers, the, the, I don't know if that's going to are... get you much mileage. These are almost these are almost sack teams at this point, and uh, yeah. you do well, have a tech sack down there. Yeah, literally, literally a sack team. I don't see a lot of power in your offense. I really yeah, don't see a lot of power in your offense. So, wait, here, wait, so here's the thing. Hold up. So here's the thing. So, so I need, uh, like you said, I need, with the SAC team, I need either six, sometimes seven teams. And I have all of that. How many How many teams do I have on offense? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and then a oh, bunch of mismatch up. stuff. What? what that's what that's what I use. What, what league are you playing in? Diamond in one. Diamond one. We, we can't compare it to what we yeah, are faced with in our own leagues. He said, I I found that I never use Nova. Yeah. I have no use for him on offense. So it really makes sense for him to drop him on defense. Exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you guys are like, these, these need to be used on offense. And he's making this uh, ridiculously... I, I feel like this is a ridiculously underpowered offense, but if Annex is getting the wins he needs with this, then I can't really blame him for putting this on defense. This is a, I would never do this myself because I use four out of five of these and, and my agent Venom is not nearly big enough to even think about using. So I could never do this. Most of us in this, in this voice mm -hmm. chat couldn't do this. But where he's at right like now, this is working for him. So I have trouble right? faulting him with it, huh? So you if, guys are, are also you happy masters with and, diamond and one. Like, are you happy? Are you like satisfied with your CC ranking? Are you like happy being so, there? I so don't yeah, know if that's a weird so, question or sounds rude, but like, no, no, no. Let me explain. Let me explain. So uh, I use uh, for so Cosmic Crucible. It's one of my War is my favorite mode. Cosmic Crucible, I like a lot. But it just the way that they have the rewards where you don't really get there wasn't a difference. I was always like I was in the in platinum for even dropped down to gold I think a month ago. And then when they brought in the diamonds and they put the diamonds orbs into the it's only starting in diamond one. In platinum you don't get the diamond uh, dawn orb. So that's when I started playing seriously to get into diamond just so to get the diamond um, dawn orbs. And gotcha, I just okay. made it to uh, Diamond One now, and I just I see every time I check the first thing I check is uh, every Crucible matchup is if I'm the lowest TCP and I'm always the lowest TCP, so I'm guessing I'm playing pretty well. It's always everybody's at least 40 million TCP in every in every matchup. Mm -hmm. So so and and that yeah. really works, which is it's kind of amazing because your your offense seems kind of underpowered to me and i would expect with you being the lower or lowest tcp in your rankings that you would have trouble beating their defenses so i think what these guys are trying to say is that once you get out of diamonds and start approaching masters this sort of thing will not hold water like oh, you, it, it'll it'll get deleted in one shot and you will have wasted some power because you're going to start coming up on defenses where you need Nova on offense, where you need Doom to do a time platform trick, where you're going to need Super Scroll to combat some sort of a, a, a Sinister Six team or something like that. I but, agree. For, but for right now, it seems to be working. And so I guess we kind of have to keep room two in two because if we move two to three, this becomes useless. Uh, it, it's not going to work the same way as in two. It's not going to be as scary. And I think that instead of just that one simple counter that easily destroys it, it'll open it up to some other things that'll kind of work. Or maybe they'll still use the same counter. I'm not sure. But but I, I think that uh, we can leave both of these as they are. And as you approach 
higher levels of play and you start seeing this getting getting deleted, you're gonna wanna move two into room three and you're gonna wanna start breaking this up and coming up with some other maneuvers because when you full clear, how many attacks is it taking you to do? Are you going six uh, and out? It, if it's, no, usually it's a sack team, so seven. Okay, so seven attacks, which is fine. That's fine. In fact, at Diamond 1, you're going to be cruising through Diamond with only one sack. But when you get up into Masters, and, and listen, it's going to have to be six and out if you really want to progress fast. And, you know, I'll tell, I'll and, tell and you everyone, one, the, another thing is that I hate when I go into a matchup and I see the same cookie-cutter defenses. It reminds me of, like, the Cosmic Crucible of a few seasons ago where we just had, we had to put the same team every defense and it's the same counter every time and i hate that right so a lot of people like hate that but that's what you end up getting at the end of a season at the end of a season mm -hmm. we figure out what the rng defenses are the toughest things that squeeze you with the least amount of options to cover and just like right. water falls to the lowest point everybody starts to sift to those same defenses that maybe aren't cookie cutter but they're all using the same thing you know and, and that's because we've just found that overall you're going to get the best value for that sort of thing. You're able to throw your opponent off with different things. And it is a very good strategy, but it stops working at the high end with players who know exactly what works in what situation and can just at the top of their mind figure out a team and destroy it. They're going to look at this and go, wow, I'm going to annihilate this 2 million top meta defense with three powerful tunes and it's gone in one shot and that's not gonna you know be a thing and and i think same thing with two as well and it just won't hold but for right now like you said it's it's working for the most part you've just recently seen some losses with this just keep watching and if it starts losing more and more and more then i think you're gonna have to take these guys advice and break this team no, up not, and start not, going in a different yeah. direction i seen the i got yeah, i got it, the loss with the full sd not not with this one right yeah 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 but no, I if agree totally with you on the, on the rest of that. If, if you're reaching your goals in Cosmic Crucible, and that's, that's it's Diamond 1, Diamond 2, Diamond 3, whatever it is, if you're reaching your goals, you're happy with your rewards, and you're happy with the game mode and having fun, you could tell us all to shove it up our ass. We're just obviously <laughs> giving advice to the general community as well who watches this and sees and maybe needs advice on their defense. We're not telling yeah. you this is what you need no, to do. No, no, I know. Yeah, we gotta cover all that. Everybody really has different goals, too. Doing, by the way. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, uh, by the way, uh, Doolum, Shove it up your ass. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's another channel point. Yep. That's going to be another one. Thanks for that. <laughs> By the way, one, one, of the, one, of the, one of the biggest reasons, one of the biggest reasons why I can go in with six or seven teams and, and take them out is because of your videos uh, of you guys talking about the counters and everything. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's, it's, that's the thing. It, Cosmic Crucible is about having fun. If you're having fun and you're getting the rewards that you're happy with, keep doing what you're fucking doing. Don't I would, I would recommend you not to change anything yeah. because then you're going to be confusing yourself on offense and not know what to use and forget to use Doom because he's been on defense. If you're happy where you're at, keep everything the way it is, in my opinion. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, just the preemptive, of yep. the, ne the next room is completely brand new. This is so completely brand new? Uh, I'm not a big fan of Bifrost or Asgardians at all in Crucible right now. I So right off the bat, I'm kind of like, ah, uh, gross. Um, Nick Fury is going to be bringing in some pretty thick summons. Uh, they're not as much a liability as summons used to be with Nick Fury. I have no idea what Tigra does. I never built her. I don't know anything about this. So uh, uh, Poopy Darthol, why don't you start us off? Explain what, what your thinking is with this room, and then I'm going to let the guys tear it apart. Well, I've I've been uh, practicing in the, in the war, and I've seen that um, if you let Tigra get to her, um, I forget it's either the ult or, or or the special, but it's the second one. And if you're not ready for it, she's she destroys you. Mm -hmm. she just, it's like a million bleeds. She goes through everybody, takes off all the buffs, and it just it, it's it's a nightmare. Um, so over here, I was thinking. With um with with Fury because I tried Fury with just all new Avengers taking out the thing, um that didn't work well. So Fury here is obviously gonna have to uh, summon a taunt, and then uh, Thor Infinity War. If they're bringing, they have to bring in a cert, uh, a specific team because if they're bringing in some protector, especially with charges, Thor is gonna take care of that. Yeah, I and I and just the, don't see anybody bothering to bring in a protector with their Eternals. 
I just yeah, so I just see this, yeah. and I think I think Chad agrees. This is just Eternals yeah. food. Another Eternals it, Death Seed. Yeah, yeah yep. Death Seed. I was thinking yeah. Pegasus. The thing is, yeah, it, you, you said too. you're testing in war. In war, Tiger gets forty percent speed stat from Ronin. Yeah, yeah, and extra bleeds. Yeah, yeah. No, as well as I mean, so I, much I other. My, I don't mean the, but uh, I don't mean the the how fast she gets to it. That, uh, I mean, like, if you let her get to her set move, if mm -hmm. it does happen, yeah. then then she she does everything. The but yeah, no, in, in war, happened. in war is different. She goes right away in war. The only reason I would find this acceptable in your lineup is if you have some other team that has as big a call out to the Eternals, and then you're making them choose between the two. But like like the other guy said. Uh, you've got other teams that still beat this uh, Death Seed and Pegasus. They're all going to get some turn meter off of some of those minions dying eventually. And I just, I, I kind of think this is hot trash. However, you're not wasting too much other than maybe Fury. I don't, I don't find these characters specifically useful in Crucible. War, maybe. You know, there's a place for Asgardians and stuff in War, but in Crucible, I, I don't think they're doing much. So you're not wasting too much, but I, like yeah, I said, I, I think you really got to have another call out for Eternals in your somewhere else in your lineup if you want to use. How this. big is your new Avengers? In general, my new Avengers, uh, they're not big. They're not. Uh, Ronin is G16. Um, uh, Mockingbirds is G16, and the other two are G15. Okay, so I'm gonna. You're you're gonna have a better defense than just having new new Avengers with Fury. Well, that's what I said. I tried that last week, and they got. Let me see who they got torn apart by. On. Give me one sec. Um, I I don't know. I, I don't know if that's there's any any way to salvage this team. I think this team just needs to be taken off and replaced with something else all enti entirely. Personally, that's that's my thing. Yeah, the Fury they, they brought in Undying with Dagger and Eternals. So, but without uh, Zombie Juggernaut, they, did they, they what? brought in. Fury and in Hella, Hella, uh, Zim, Eternals, and Dagger. That was overkill. Did he? All they needed was Eternals and Emma, and like, I don't know. And See, that's, that's it. That's really all they needed. No, the Eternals wouldn't be able to beat New Avengers. Oh, are we we'll talking about New Avengers or this? Oh, this Eternals, but that's okay. what I'm saying. At least that pulled, oh, at least that pulled on dying in Eternals. Okay. You're pulling better with that than what, this. Yeah, wouldn't a That's straight back. wouldn't a straight new Avengers be better than this then? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry, I guys. Like full, I, full new Avengers. My phone turned off because I was getting a call. Did, um, you you got what I told you what they came in with, right? The yeah. Undying Eternals yeah. and the yeah, Dagger. Yeah. yeah. So I was just I was just saying like if I make somebody uh, bring in like a lot, like this was overkill. You're absolutely right. Um. If I made somebody turn uh, put in a lot of offense, I feel I that I count that as a win because I, I gave up nothing and they gave up huge teams. You know what I mean? Because none that, of these another one of <clears throat> none of these characters well, I'm using on offense. Remember, Fury. remember, it's not it's not necessarily what they are forced to use because yes, Eternals are like a super powerful team, but if the Eternals are beating this in like two turns. They've made an, a super efficient kill of this team where you could have done something like thrown Infinity Watch in here and it would have taken more turns to kill them. But they also and brought also in just Undying. Eternals. They, are they also in brought there. in Undying, though. Well, that you know, was, I really think that, that was a, a mistake that. bringing in the Undying. I think they didn't need to, but maybe they didn't need Undying elsewhere, too. I, I'm not sure. Like, the problem <laughs> with using a team like this is you can lose so quickly that it doesn't do you any good just because you don't use them on offense. Like, I could make that argument to put Death Seed on defense because I never use them. However, Death Seed on defense loses so quickly to Pegasus, it's the same scenario. And my but Death the, Seed the one... is almost two mil. Like, it does me zero good in Cosmic Crucible at all. But the one one difference is, uh, if you're putting in Death Seed, like, people already know proven counters. They know what to go in with. You put in something like this, it makes them think for a while before they figure out what to go in, and half the time they don't figure it out. You know so what I mean? So you're you're playing the the I'm gonna confuse you game is essentially your your that's, entire. That's what uh, yeah, I'm, that's I'm kind of what we've been going for. It's it's I'm gonna throw you off so you make a mistake. 
yeah, I'm throwing you a curveball. If you can hit it, good for you. If you can't, I win. Exactly. Kind of just, it's exactly. kind of your thought, which which is fine. Now, we've talked yeah. about that before. Confusion does beat people. Yeah. It, it does, especially not at like the top ranks that yeah. like, masters and stuff. Confusion does beat people. And if it's keeping you here, keep confusing people because it's funny. <laughs> the, the, the only problem is, is that curveballs, you start going up against pros when you get higher up. And it looks like you're progressing quite rapidly. And you're going to start hitting that point where curveballs don't throw anybody off anymore. And that's why you start falling into those teams where everybody's using pretty much the same stuff on defense because it starts Please. falling down to playing perfectly and efficiency and going up against resistance checks and things like that that are more out of people's control. And so I think, it, again, if you're having fun with this, this is great. But for me, I look at this and go, Eternals, deletes, it's super clean, super efficient, gets you lots of points, and I think it's a liability. And that's why I think this one for sure, it's kind of hot trash for me. No, I, I I agree. I agree. But guys, you keep you keep talking like like if I'm start if I'm gonna start losing some matches, I'm gonna be like, wow, I don't know what's happening. Why do I keep losing? I keep setting the same defense. Right. Of course I'm not. I lose one match, then I I, I know to switch it up. I get it. Okay. And you're right. It, this is not gonna work in in masters. Not even diamond two or three. I bet. Uh, For now, if people are getting confused, I'm just listen. I'm gonna keep putting it up. Yeah, I mean, l seriously, like if, if people are getting confused and if it's working, don't change anything. But if you're coming to us and you want to know what to change it to, I'm telling you, I think this is hot trash and needs to just basically throw the whole team out. Do you guys have? If we want to switch it to something else, are we gonna try and salvage this team or are we gonna throw the whole team out? Doolin, what do you think? Should should we try and salvage it? Uh, just make some tweaks I mean, or or just or just replace it entirely of, with i don't know like i said infinity watch or something i mean i use fury on offense every every time because of the speed because mm -hmm. usually fury goes with eternals for the speed um i've been keeping vol for that boombastic counter and one to kill super scroll immediately on a turn one delete um so i i mean the the team in general i feel like new avengers since it did pull an Eternals Undying, is better than what you're going to see be pulled into this. Because if you throw a Fury in here, I just see Eternals and go click, hit auto, walk away, and come back to my 8370 and call it a day. If, yeah. New, if New Avengers got slapped, which they probably did by Eternals and Undying, you got to pull an Eternals Undying. I would count that as a win. I don't even think I would have changed it if I saw that. That's just me, though. But, I mean, it depends on what's in Room 5. If you don't have Unlimited with Nightcrawler in Room 5, then... We're gonna have some questions on what's in of, of what to do in rooms four and five. Okay, let's okay. go. Let's go take a look at room five because we do have unlimited with Nightcrawler Bishop. Uh, Bishop is small enough; he's gonna die, which can put that reflexive taunt on Rogue and uh, Nightcrawler going fast. We've been using what uh, uh, Sinister Six teams against this is what a lot of people are doing right now. The Nightcrawler variant, uh, Superior Six or MOE. Or like, or MOE. Oh, yeah, that's right. I never use MOE like, because I'm kind of like stuck using MOE on one in, in my Crucible. The second yeah. Ford shows up, MOE gets a lot testier. Like, you have to pretty much like MOE dorm things. Oh, really? No, you just gotta uh, play it yeah, right. It gets... <laughs> you just gotta play it right. It's not, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's not. So I did it. God, I, I love these stream. chats. It's not, <laughs> it's not as bad, honestly. It's just, you just kind of, you have to, you have to do the right moves. It's a puzzle at that point. If not, you will lose because you just won't control the right people. Um, but, yeah, uh, before, you know, if you've got a 7 7 forge, you're, you're screwed. <laughs> have fun. Yeah, bef before I put in Bishop, I tried it with uh, uh, Dazzler. And like you said, MOE came in there. Um, that's why I switched it up to Bishop. Bishop okay. is good. I would swap Cyclops and Bishop. The placement? Yeah. For keep, Rogue placement. On a, keep Rogue on an island. Okay. Yep. I, I think he's going to die good. instantly. I yeah, I oh, saw, yeah, I saw this yeah. one. And of course, you know, this is, this is what a lot of people are using and everything. But it's because it works. And I was like, oh, this is great. This is great. All right. TDATS, you are distracting the hell out of me with those emotes. <laughs> what is the wall? What is the wall scroll killer in room one? I don't know. I don't yeah, I'm curious. Know. Also, um, you do so if there's like an SD scroll Thanos, the sack instead of doing the tech sack because Thanos will give energy to um, give energy to scroll. You do I'm big time Spider Man, so he'll go you. first. That was the really loud. Um, you'll do. 
anytime spider-man so he goes first he'll basic into super scroll then you have kestrel omega red like nemesis and vol and it pretty much one shot super scroll so he never takes a turn he never moves and then you just let it time out from there and you come back in with new warriors and they never take a turn hmm. you just gotta remember to use that, that basic not the ultimate yeah, you have to you have to use the basic, correct? You have yeah. to use the basic on big time because if you use the ult, then they don't assist off of big time's ult. Plus, his basic puts down defense down. If you run that comp, those five characters all go before super scroll. Uh, no, just big time goes before super scroll. They're all strikers, and they all take out super scroll. Oh, they the assist. assist. Yeah, of striker. course. Uh huh. Yeah. And okay. then and then they're all dead. And then Kestrel will assist, and then she'll also ping because her passive will get procked all in that one turn. Mm. You guys have that a video somewhere? Uh, there's videos out there. I have it on my counter uh, video on my YouTube. I'm, I'm, it explains it. Uh, and there's also a link to a Google Doc in there. What's the, what's the name of the video? Uh, it's Doolum's uh, channel. It's on my YouTube channel. I can, yeah, I can. I'll link it in chat. Yeah, throw throw it up in the oh, yeah, chat thanks. so people can go check that out. That's a that's yep. a good one. That counter list. I told you that'd be a popular it, video, Doolum. I told you. I, it is, and I will continue to keep doing that with Juicy on my side. <laughs> uh okay so we pretty much like this we're just gonna do a placement swap here let's see we've got uh two strikers two raiders a skirmisher bishop's gonna die immediately so it doesn't really count it's two and two basically uh that's okay i don't see any reason to change the isos on the team so yeah i think we're pretty good, we're pretty good with that all right um Sorry, i'm signing in my youtube on my let's computer. Let's go. Chat's been just jumping today. There's so much silliness going on in, in chat and here in the voice channel, too. I love the I love the little snarky quips you guys are subtly throwing at each other. It's yeah, we've been, we've been popping today. It's <laughs> yeah, it's, is, is Unlimited better to run in room four or five? Uh, I think you kind of got to go with the Im mutant immune system, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, four is going to get five. the evade hey, stuff. Somebody in chat's trying to get your attention. It's five uh, when you have the full team. Okay. Not the full team. This team that we have currently. Yeah, this, uh, this unlimited hybrid here. Um, the extremely unlimited team. That one probably in four. Really? Why four? four. Why would you put yep. this in four? Start dropping so, people in the cell. Mm -hmm. when you start getting to forge uh the reason why you want it in five is because then you can't control the forge as well mm -hmm. okay. and in four you can and it causes a big problem when you can't do that so that means that the only counter you have if it's in five is superior sixth vulture okay so you've dropped their their options down to one my video is now in the chat just so you know the counter video nice thanks there's Yep, there's also a lot of timestamps in the description, so you can jump to whatever you want as well. Awesome. Okay, so if we sub in Forge on this team, we're subbing it in for Bishop, correct? Don't all talk at once. Sorry. Um, pretty was, much. Answer Desi the answer, question? I wasn't listening. If we put Forge in on this team, we're taking Bishop out. That's that's Shall the forge ver variant of this. So the best the best comp is going to be long term. The extreme X Men. You're going to drop Cyclops for Rogue. Okay. All right. That's the that's the best combo of that. So it'll be extreme. It'll be extreme one, with with, with with Rogue. All right. In place of Cyclops. Uh, this one is going to be beat then, by a, by a Sinister Six variant, but if we have the Extreme X Men with Rogue, you're going to have to use Superior Six with Vulture. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. If you want to make this room bad, you want to make this room bad too. You can use Forge over Cyclops, then put Dormammu over Bishop, and it really is not a fun time. Oh, good lord. Okay, we'll we'll hold on. This I think we're going to see a lot of crazy <laughs> lot stuff of happening in room 5. Connect, thank you for the raid, buddy. Appreciate that. We are in yes. hot debate over this roster mm -hmm. today. All right. Uh Stokely I think we needs to do a room like this every season where it comes to the fact that they know obviously a team like hive mind is coming and they have a bio room for the, f that's there for the entire season. So for the first half of the season, we're putting say rebirth in there. And then when hive mind comes out, we start subbing in hive mind people 
Because just Nightcrawler and Forge coming into the game has changed Cosmic Crucible so much mm -hmm. that it has made it so much more fun for these last like four weeks. So I, I, I hope they they realize that and they can keep that kind of going because this is this is 10 out of 10. OK, OK. We're going to save some of the Room 5 discussion for another video, I think. There is just too much information with this team changing so rapidly, like you said, with these new characters coming out. But I've got Sinister Six countering this. I've got a Forge variant with Superior Six with Vulture countering that, uh, slimming it down. We like this. We just want a placement change. And um, when Annex builds up the Forge, maybe he might want to try that or maybe not. Leave it up to him. But, I, but right now, we don't really have a problem with this. Uh, we're this just this is a hot room with lots of changes happening. And finally, we get off to room six, which is the superior six. What happens, Annex, if you find a superior six in your opponent's defense? Is it just going to be neither of you clear a room, or or what are we doing about superior six if you don't have superior six on offense to mirror it? It's a super scroll because he's got super scroll on, on defense. So I don't see anything in his offensive list that could be this team. Right? The tangled hella comp that Juicy said would work. And then um, the only other thing that could work is undying, doom, and uh, APOC. Full undying, like all the three piece undying, doom, and APOC. Doom and APOC. Okay. So there are options well, to be this. What mm -hmm. about what about Fallout dying with APOC? It, can you add anybody else besides Doom? Uh, Doom really makes that work because he takes either Zugs or um, APOC on the ride. Most likely your APOC because I'm assuming you're not a big spender. Um, so I'm assuming, granted, you do have a six red Craven, but um, I'm assuming it would take your uh, APOC on the ride because Zugs won't be stronger. But even if it takes Zugs on the ride and you have a big Zugs, it's just... It it deletes like anybody taking three turns in a row there just absolutely deletes everything. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, and and that's the other thing. Uh, we we do need to talk about in the next defense video. They gave me an alternate to sub in for the superior six because you want them for attacking for points, like Thunderdog and chat says. Um, do you Annex? Do you have an option for when you want to use these guys on offense for points, or do you not care about that? Uh, my logic so far has been that I have not seen a full superior six on offense. Um, and that's why I just kept putting it on defense. But if, but I mean, I mean up, are you interested in using them on offense for points in an event or do you not care? Like, keep in mind, oh, like you're looking for a new a, alliance like, here. You may want to, this might be a loaded yeah. question. <laughs> oh, you're saying if we have another uh, Crucible event where you have to use Superior 6? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so your question is if I would take him off defense? If yeah. we had an event yes. that I would need him? That's a serious question? Yeah, would you take him off of yes. defense to use him on offense for points Absolutely. in an alliance event? How is that a serious question? Of course I would. Of course I would get the points in the event. Okay. What do you wow, mean? I really thought They're, you were going. I really thought you were going the other way. Honestly, I know. Because honestly, at They're, my cosmic crucible, I'm leaving them on defense. Fuck my alliance. I don't care. Yeah, there <laughs> are a lot of people who don't approve of Absolutely. the alliance-based milestones off of a solo event, and, and they don't. They get pissed off, and so they don't even care. Um, in fact, I did it for a round. I left but, my superior six on defense because I wanted, I wanted to be successful in crucible. So you know, you know, I'm you know. Tanking. What's funny is that. Uh, last one, I did leave him on defense by mistake because I forgot that they were on defense. And I, and I, but when you when you do that, when you say you, you're kind of screwing your alliance over, right? The rewards on those mm -hmm. are usually ass, by the way. Correct. That is my that is my argument. The rewards don't don't really matter that much, and I'm not that happy, believe it or not, sacrificing possible diamond orbs, which is the best orb in the game right now to progress your roster mm -hmm. um, for 20 L4 training mats and, you know, maybe two gold orbs and extra I guess I would, to get an extra milestone. I guess I would need to, like, sit down and, and, and review how much I like my alliance, which alliance I'm in, and how much I like these people in there. You're looking so, for an alliance. You'd absolutely take them off defense. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for an all access, I will absolutely. I'm a team player. Hire me. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot again. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm sorry. They're still on defense. Whoops. Ease. Wait, do you guys don't really think they're going to have another uh, co- Cosmic Crucible where they want uh, Superior Seeds on offense? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's I, I probably be- coming next week. I believe absolutely. they're going to. I guarantee it's on today's blog. I, I believe they're going to. I don't know. A bunch of people in chat are saying that there is going to be one. Maybe somebody knows something. I really? don't. Yeah, yeah. So. Um. So one thing to think about also is like look at the rewards. Like last of the time they did it, as as Dylan was like pointing out, the rewards weren't great. If the rewards were better, we'd be more inclined to pull them off. Yeah. 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 Like like yeah. cleaning agent says, the milestones are trash anyway. Leave them on defense. Um, yep. I think I did yeah, something like I, I pulled them and then I lost a match or something and I was really pissed off. So I put them back on defense and said, forget it. This ain't worth it. I, I want the wins. Do you guys, did, did anybody else split up the uh, Sinister Six and how do you guys do it? I'm trying to look for like the best. If you would s- s- split up the Superior Six. Mostly it's, it's a it? matter of or subbing defense? in Vulture or Mysterio or both. That's pretty much what a lot of people are doing for the specific reasons. That the, the speed or you know Mysterio doing Mysterio things. But for the because most part, it's a Superior Six team. Yeah, because no, I, I did have them. a vulture in the beginning, um, because vulture gets the I think twenty five percent turn meter of their heroes, um, but yep. yeah, full superior six, just deleted them. Mm-hmm. In so. crucible, yeah, in crucible, there's no two teams. There's just one superior it's six one team. team. Yeah. Oh, On I see. offense, you have the opportunity to sub in, as Ron said, a, a different character for a specific purpose, but. Um, like you, there's no two teams in Crucible. You can run your it. rejects on defense, but which you're partially doing. Yeah, I kind of think you're you're basically doing it. You could sub in one of them here, but you're you're basically doing what you can. You've got some leftover Sinister Six that are built up, and you're making a composition that's gonna put people in a position where they got to stop and think about it and check this. So, yeah. Now, yeah, War, no, War's like a whole nother crazy. animal. Go over to Pathfinder Gaming's channel and ask him. He's all about War these days. He could tell you if if they're splitting up teams or what they're doing in War. I don't know. Yeah, he'll start gotcha. the, the conversation by saying Cosmic Crucible sucks, War's the best, and then and then tell you the answer, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty much I right. actually, I, I, don't, I actually hey. do like War uh, better, Not, but I don't think Crucible sucks, but I, I love War. Yeah. So, so um, just I'm to MVP answer every, question. every week. Um, you can't split them up, by the way. Yeah, how's that, Juicy? Um, I've seen Dorky do it, but you need to have you need to invest a lot into the t- tunes that are people are skipping. So, right, like I don't even want to like. And- but look at Dorky's channel on his bigger accounts that he spends a ton of the the well account. That he I've seen him split them to make two teams to beat. Hmm. Yeah, so, For offense. Yeah, because like I even I only. even do that too. Like I'll take. I'll take I'll take a fifth off of Superior Six. Like if I run Echo Superior Six to take out an SD Noir and one, whoever I took out for Echo, I'll put them in against Infinity Watch just to take off the revives. Because for this season they take off the the revives, so I'll just throw in a random Doc Ock with like Undying and Dorm to take out Infinity Watch and make it more efficient. So mm-hmm. offense you have options, defense not not really. Like Benny said, I feel like it's the full six piece, full five piece or nothing. Personally, got you. And Annex, remember that a lot of the abilities on these members, they need two superior six to do some of their features. Correct. So if if you're trying to split them up into two teams, you want to look at those and make sure if you really need the two superior sixes on one team or if you're just going to throw, like like Doolum said, he throws in just the Doc Ock because that uh, has the room bonus effect that he wants for that for, room. For room six, for placement... I would say move Doc Ock next to Lizard and Green Goblin in the middle because Doc Ock gives adjacent block chance and stuff like that. So if Lizard's going to be taunting, they're going to get hit more. So uh, Doc Ock where, where Craven is and then Green Goblin in the middle where Spider Slayer is because he's a glass cannon and will die very quickly. All right, let me run through this real fast and see if I got it. A lot of people these days asking for counters to these teams as we go through them. So that's why I'm taking notes and stuff right now. Not to mention, I'm trying to get over the eight minute mark on these videos kind of pisses me off when i come in at like seven minutes and 45 seconds and i was like oh crap um you want the offensive teams to beat this too so it makes the video longer do you want like the common counters like top two counters? i've already i've been writing them down 
I've been you got him down? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if you've been writing oh, it down. I don't, have, okay, I, uh, I don't have the counter that we want to use for this. What, what would counter this Fucking really anything. well? Uh, it, that's Eternals, Eternals, Death Seed, um, I mean, New Warriors, if you got enough Pegasus. to sacrifice New Warriors here. Uh, Pegasus would also okay. probably roll this, yeah. A lot anything that kills a Quicksilver. As you still got to kill yep. the kick. It's, it's Quicksilver is still Silver. scary. Wakanda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a pretty long list. Yeah, that's why we'd like to move this into room three where it becomes at least a little bit more scary. Okay. Uh, but those are all hypothetical, right? Or, I mean, because I thought I was, I, I thought I'm the only one that, that put this defense up. Other people, have, or you guys seen this defense? No, up? I've never, I've never seen this defense oh, no, before. Seen this defense, but... but we're just coming up with things that we think would beat it, like that we oh, have okay. available on offense. That's mm -hmm. what we're just saying. Yeah, we don't know for sure, but I mean, it's just educated guesses based on what their uh, other teams they're able to beat mm -hmm. when it comes to new warriors, Pegasus, or anything like that. I okay. think the argument of this is going to make people stop and think doesn't really apply to this room two <laughs> composition because just you know off the bat. We were right. able to throw three, four, five teams. Right. Yeah, but um, they're not tested. Those are, you think they're going to win. We're um, fairly the sure only, they're going to win. The it would, only okay. way that logic makes sense is if, because Quicksilver's the threat everyone's going to look at and see, is if the characters that you select to use Quicksilver in some way get interfered with by the other characters, which doesn't happen here. I mean, because Vulture's going to open up with his special, which does uh, the slows and could change the speed depending on which three he targets. Taskmaster, even though he opens with a blind on this comp, it's going to be so slow, it's almost not even going to happen. Plus, I think he's old enough that his and his stats are old enough that he's he's kind of weak, even though we've got one diamond and gear tier 18 on him. And that's coming from a true diehard Taskmaster fan. Green Goblin is way underpowered on this. He's going to fold real fast, too. So it really becomes those three on the left, which is just a portion of Sinister Six and then Quicksilver. And, you know, we kind of know how these work. And I do believe that between Death Seed, Eternals, Pegasus, and the other myriad of options you guys listed, I think there's people are going to find what works. Again, at Diamond One, it may take them a try or two to figure it out. And so that's why this is okay. But this is something that's, this is going to be one of the first teams that we either change rooms, at least moving them here, which makes them open with their ultimates and it gets a little bit scarier, or we just get rid of this team altogether. You start using vulture to sub in on the superior 16 for certain things or offense, whatever you want. So uh, um, your level six folds. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of things. I mean, we, that's the problem with Crucible. A lot of people complain that it gets stale at the high end because we find out as a community what's working really well and very effective and everybody just starts using that. It's like every room becomes an arena and we kind of know the compositions that work pretty well and the compositions that defeat it with enough experience. Okay, I got to run through these real fast. So room one, we like this, but we want to swap places with Black Widow and Doctor Strange. Uh, this, Black Widow. I'm sorry, Black Cat. I, I'm going to do that a lot. Uh, Black Cat and Doctor Strange, <laughs> we want to swap places. That way she has the immunity next to Robbie, and Robbie can't get that. That's going to help stop that new Warriors counter on this, right? Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll probably give it an A, everybody striker, doing what they need to do. Room two. This is one that we're not super excited about, but at Diamond 1, we're going to be okay with. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things beating it, which is uh, Death Seed, Eternals, Pegasus, War Dogs, the list goes on. However, we're hoping the, the opponent stumbles. And you're not using any of these people on offense? You don't really need Quicksilver on offense? Is that right? Nope. Okay. I, I guess that kind of goes without saying for the whole thing. I mean, you're, you're getting your wins. So... Um... Oh, I want to remember to say Echo and New Warriors on this one. And then over here we have uh, what I think is, is honestly, I, I think this is a fail. It's working right now, but I think this is a lot of high-powered tunes that are going to get wasted once people think to come in here with a Doom, Dorm, APOC kind of composition. Time platform from... Uh, from Super Scroll opening with his alt before anybody else pushing their Doom. If their Doom 
is built to the right level, this team can be easily deleted for a very clean and efficient kill. And it's a lot of power being wasted. So uh, we're hesitant, but so far it's working. And if it's broke, don't fix it. I like the ISOs on but the also, team. Everything just, else is just, just so you remember, I'm not wasting anything here except for Super Scroll. Right, right. Yeah, I them. need to remember that you specifically don't use any of these guys on offense except maybe Super Scroll. And so this works for you. Maybe not recommended for the general public, but this is an instance where not everyone's roster and play style is the same, and that is okay. For sure. All right. Uh, team number four, this is Eternals food. We don't like it. What were we going to try and do with this? Just switch it over to like a, just a new Warriors composition or something? I mean, Infinity Watch. I feel like you'd have oh. to use Infinity Watch on offense. Yeah. And Infinity Watch in any room here is good enough to soak up some efficiency. Because if you're using my Infinity Watch on offense, I feel like that's bottom of the barrel. No, no, my Infinity Watch is only like 800k, I think. It's on the offense. That doesn't matter. That's, they're still, they're still okay. going to be good on defense. Yeah. It's still plenty. They're, they're going to take more hits. One and two. They're going to take more hits than this team versus Eternals. Eternals is yep. going to absolutely annihilate this super quick and efficient. You'd be lucky if uh if icarus didn't double tap and the you know the team gets to stay alive on its feet but they're gonna die for sure but eternals have, is guaranteed really going to take some hits guaranteed no matter what they're gonna take some hits before they die even at a eight nine hundred power level so you use, so you think even like a small infinity watch over here would be better yeah yes yeah even an eight nine hundred infinity watch over this over this team that beats it by yeah. one million points is gonna be better Either that, yeah, or at terrible. the very least, take Fury out so there's no summons in here. You stand a chance of them surviving the Eternals alt and taking some turns. Like who, who would you like, put in? So, how big your in there? How big's your Valkyrie? Uh small. She's not even G sixteen. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, maybe if you have a big Ronin, then get some of the synergy with Tiger. But again, that's a war team, and using the new Avengers in Crucible is not highly recommended. I think the easiest thing is just simply throw in the Eternals. That gives you Fury for offense. That gives you Vol in case you want to get exposed on the field and start using your Super Scroll on offense. It's something to think about. But, <clears throat> but tell me this. Uh, my, I think my Valkyrie is uh, is three diamonds. Do you think I, I should build, build her up? No. Ooh, no. Not. No. In fact, a lot of people like a smaller Valkyrie because then she dies and you have a 50% chance that she's going to do that thing anyway oh, as long okay. as she doesn't die okay. while she's stunned yeah i don't think you really gain anything on the valkyrie either i just think this is kind of a very risky team once your opponent goes oh hey that's right eternals that's the delete button and then they're gone and it's a it's a real liability and then in five we have what we like probably one of our favorite teams right in here uh the sinister six countering this there's a forge variant which is basically the uh extreme x-men subbing in uh, Rogue for Cyclops, and if that's the case, then you have to use a Superior Six with Vulture. But this works really well for those who haven't unlocked all of those extreme characters yet. We'll maybe mention how this is a really hot room that's changing a lot as these characters come in, and there's a lot of variations you can do with the Unlimited and Extreme members. And so we really like this one. For this one only, though, we want to move Bishop adjacent to Rogue so that he dies and there's going to be gap placement between Rogue when she taunts. Also, we might want to move this one into Room 4. You could get some value there with the way the Room 4 operates. Okay, and then in Room 6, we're going to have the Superior 6 right here, which is another great team. Uh, remember, if there's an event going that requires that and there's rumors that there may be, uh, then you're going to want to be prepared to pull this team and throw something else in here. But for this one, you can use the mirror. You can use an APOC, Doom, and Full Undying to beat it, but not much else works very well. Uh, and we want a placement swap with Doc Ock adjacent to Lizard and Green Goblin in the center. That way the deflects are going onto those two in the room. Did I get everything, guys? I'm gonna take your silence as a big yes, Ron no, you Seven. Forgot, You're freaking you amazing. You we saw. love the way you review that. Damn it! No, you forgot <laughs> everything. You saw. Honestly, I thought you were. I, I honestly thought you were recording until um, 
Poopy Darthold chimed in, and I was like, oh my god, he just ruined the recording. And I looked, I'm like, oh, he's not wearing the blazer, never mind. No. I swear to god, I thought you were recording. That's why nope. I'm staying quiet on everything. It, it is time to grab the, the blazer, though, and, uh, gotcha. and I'll, I'll jump in on this. I'm gonna jump out of voice here, and I'll, I'll do this recording real fast, and then I'll come back, and we got one more to do. Donna Doe isn't here to defend their actions. Yeah, oh I gotta my. do two. I gotta do two. Donna Doe oh, isn't here to defend oh, their oh, actions, so we should be able to fly through that one pretty fast, but they do have two teams ready for uh, room two. All right. Uh, did somebody say right. something to me? You have to pick up the kids today? No. Kids are here. They're still on uh, on winter break. Not till next week. Yeah, not till next week. week. So I, get... I know his kids' schedule. Oh, my God. It's, so it's already creepy. 3 o'clock. Man, we've been at this a while. Holy cow. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to jump out. I'm going to hit this record, and 10 minutes later, I'll jump right back in, hopefully. YouTube, I'm back after recording those videos. If you want to see all of the behind the scenes action, you can just go to the VODs now and, and check those out. Remember, I don't get paid for those commercials, so I try and put most of that in the YouTube re stream recycles. Uh, and also, you can come watch me live on Twitch anytime you want. So thanks for joining us. I'm exhausted. Have a great weekend or whatever day it is you're watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.